What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has started rolling out a brand new update which is pertaining to the AI features inside the Samsung Gallery application. In this video, we are gonna take a look at that. The background here you're seeing is a bit messy because I'm traveling, so uh, I'm not in my studio. So just bear with me here. Now let's go ahead, let me just show you the update details here. Let's go to the store. I will tap on update applications. You can see here, this update is available for photo editor. Now photo editor is not a separate application. This is integrated into Samsung Gallery gallery app itself as you all know now let me just tap on this and let's check out the change log here and what's new it says can save sketch to image generated results individually added manual area selection method for creating custom stickers now let me just scroll down and show you the latest update here latest version here this is 3.4.29.21 Updated date was 30th October. So some of you guys would have already got this update a few days ago in the US and in the Europe. Uh, you would have already seen this update. I have just received this update in my country uh, just today. So I thought I will keep you guys posted. I haven't got this update yet on the S24 series. This is the S23 Ultra I've got here and uh, this update is available. The size is about 56.61 MB. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna update this application and show you guys what has really changed. In the change log, it says you can save sketch to image generated results individually. Now, uh, just before updating this, let me just uh, go to the gallery application and show you how we can generate sketch to image and save it before updating this particular uh, photo editor application. Let me just go to the gallery here. Now I have opened this image. Let me tap on edit. Now here I will tap on AI icon. Let me just draw a simple plane here in the sky and tap on generate. Looks pretty cool. We have got a few options here. Let me just scroll towards the right. This is what it has generated and it actually looks pretty nice here. Now we have got about four different options here which are generated by AI. Now if I have to save something, I can just scroll towards the one that I want to save and then tap on done. And when we do that, the rest of the images will just vanish. I can't really save each one of them. That is the issue and this update fixes it. So let's go ahead. Let me just uh, go to the application here and tap on update. Now the application has been updated. Now let me open the gallery again and open the same image again. Now I'll edit this. Let me tap on AI icon and again I'll tap on sketch to image. Now let me draw a plane again here. Tap on generate. Now you can see we've got this download button on each of these images. If I like this image, I can just tap on this icon to download it. Image saved in gallery. I can scroll towards the right to see some other uh, generated images. I can tap on save on each one of them to save all these images, which is just amazing. Earlier, we could just select one of the images and then tap on done to save that image. But now we get this download icon on each image to save each of them inside the gallery. Now, if I go to the gallery here again, let me just go back here and discard this. Let's go to gallery. Let's see if it has been saved. Here you go. We have got these images with the plane here. I've saved all of them. So this is how we now save the images when we generate it through sketch to image inside the gallery. Now let's get back to the change log here. The second point says added manual area selection method for creating custom stickers provided in labs. Now first let's check out where exactly this labs option is and then I'll tell you how to add manual area selection method for creating custom stickers. Let me go to the settings here now. I'll tap, I'll search for applications. Here is a list of app. Now here I will tap on search button again. I will search for editor. You can see we have got photo editor here. Let me tap on this. Right on top you will see photo editor settings. I will tap on this. Now here you can see we have got this option labs. Let me tap on this now. It says try out experimental features, custom sticker clipper, automatic or manual. Now by default we have got automatic selected. I can select manual if I want. But before this, let me open the gallery here and show you what exactly this custom sticker all about. Now let me open this image here. I will tap on this pencil icon and uh, this is where you will find the sticker options at the bottom. Let me tap on this icon here. You can see we have got stickers. I will tap on stickers here. Now here you can see at the bottom we have got a bunch of stickers which are already available. These are preset stickers. And here we have got this gallery icon. When I tap on this, I have got this plus button tapping on which I can go inside the gallery again and uh, select any of the images here and I can create my own custom sticker. Now you see automatically this clips this subject uh, from the background and it has created the custom sticker here. I can tap on next. You can see here this is the object which has been clipped and this is my custom sticker. When I tap on done that particular sticker will come here on this image 
and I can place it wherever I want and save it. This is the custom sticker. Now let me tell you what this new feature does. Now you saw that you know that sticker has been created automatically. When I selected the image, uh, the subject was clipped automatically. I did not do it manually. Now what I'm going to do is I will select manual option here under photo editor labs. Now let's see what happens. Let's go back to the gallery here. Let me just discard this. I'll tap on edit, tap on stickers again. And now I'll tap on this gallery icon and tap on plus button. Now what we'll do is we will go to the same image. Let's see what happens, whether it is going to clip it automatically or I'll have to select it manually. Let me tap on this. It says tap or draw around a person or thing you want to uh, want in the sticker. So it is not automatically clipping the subject. I'll have to manually do it. I will circle this uh, subject here. Now you see it has just snapped onto the subject and I will be able to tap on next and clip this particular image. Further edit it, draw it and then tap on done and this is available right here. So this is how we manually crop the subject from the background to add the stickers, add the custom stickers from another image. Now with the lab option, we get two options. One is automatic and manual. Uh, if you want to clip a specific uh, subject from an image to use it as sticker on another image, you can set this to manual. So that is how you can do this. That, that is the uh, new feature that we have got on the labs option, which is just fantastic. Now, these are the two new features which have been added by Samsung inside the photo editor application. Now, it's going to be useful for those of you who are into uh, photo editing, who are into uh, creating your own custom stickers and adding it on the images. And also the big feature is downloading the images individually when you use the sketch to image feature inside the gallery. Let me know what do you think. Have you already got the update or not? Drop a comment. Like I said, I have got this update on the Galaxy S23 series, not yet on the S24 series. I'm not sure how many of you guys have got this update. Drop a comment and let me know. Now, like I mentioned, I apologize for the, uh, the background uh, here. Uh, like I said, I'm traveling and uh, the video is not that great, I know, but this is the information, this is a very important information, very important update and feature I wanted to share with you guys. So let me know what do you think, have you got it or not, and uh, while you drop a comment, do subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. I would really appreciate that. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.